Thank you for being with me today. I am Naima Afrin, teacher of class 3. Welcome you all today our online class. Before starting the class, students, I would like to extend my warmest wishes to you all. How are you all? I hope all of you are safe and sound. I am also fine, Alhamdulillah. So let's start our class. My dear students, all of you know that we have finished our third syllabus. And today I will show you a revision chapter. And today our topic name is Multiplication. So before starting the class, I want to tell you what is called multiplication. Can you remember? Okay, I am telling for you. Multiplication is combining equal groups together to find out the total. So from the definition, we can easily understand that in multiplication we find the total number. Isn't it students? Now, it's your turn. Can you tell me how many parts are there in multiplication? Yes, students, there are three parts of multiplication. Multiplicant, multiplier, and what? Yes, product. Look, I am showing you in the board. I am writing here one example. Look at the board, all of you. 28 multiplied by 3. So look students, this number is called multiplicand because you know the number which is multiplied is called multiplicand. Yes, I am writing here multi, multiplicand. Yes, now can you tell me this person? Yes student, this person name is called multiplier because we multiplied uh, this number 28 by 3. So the number by which we multiply this called multiplier. So this its name is, this part's name is multiplier. Okay. Now if I find out the result here by doing the multiplication then what happened? Look, 3 is what? 24. So 24, 4 I have written here and 2 I am carrying. Now do the multiplication. 3 to the 6 and as I am carrying 2 in my hand it will be 8. So I got the result here 84 and this 84 has a name also. After doing the multiplication we got the answer. And this answer is called what? Can you remember from the previous lesson? Product. Isn't it students? Yes. So, this is multiplicate. This is multiplier. And this is product. Now students, tell me. Can you tell what is called the bigger number of multiplication? Yes, the bigger number of multiplication is called product. Look at the example. Here are three parts, multiplicand, multiplier, then product. And look, we got the product 84. It is the bigger number than these two numbers. So students, uh, now I will show you two problems from the multiplication chapter. I know that all of you have some idea about this chapter. But still now, I am taking a short review from this chapter. Okay, all of you take out your book, CW copy in front of you. Uh, so students, today I will show you one problem from page 59. From exercise 1, 
there are lots of problem from them i will show you number 9 okay i am writing the question here look at the board all of you and be attentive 284 multiplied by 28 so so when look at the board 284 multiplied by 28 so what i have to do i have to find out the answer so students this is the side by side multiplication so what we have to do here we have to show graph or curve here to find out the answer isn't it so i am showing you here 284 it is our multiplicand and our multiplier is 28 okay so look there is two digit 28 so what we have to do at first we have to take one digit and by this one digit i have to multiply it this 284 as it is two digit multiplication we have to follow here two steps so at first i am starting from one digit 8 and by this 8 now i will multiply all the number okay so can you remember the multiplication table a Yes, I hope that you are practicing multiplication table every day at your home. So now tell me, 8 fours will be what? Yes, students, 8 fours are 32. I am writing here 32. You got 8 fours are 32. So I will write here 32. No, from 32 I will take 2. And I will write here 2 and these 3 I will carry. Okay. So now go to the next part. By this 8 I have to multiply this 8. This tens position. Okay. So look 8 8 8 8 will be what? 8 8 will be 64. 64. And if I write here 64, it will be incorrect because as I am carrying 3, I have to add this 3 with this 64. Then what I will get? 3 plus 4, 7 and 6, I will write here. So 67. From this 67, I will write 7 only and this 6, I have to carry in my hand now go to the next part by this 8 i have to multiply this 2 8 to the will be what 8 to the yes students 8 to the 16 but i cannot write 16 here because i am carrying also 6 okay so now do the addition 6 plus 6 what will be there 12 with 2 1 i am carrying 1 plus 1 22 it is our answer 2272 but students it is not the final answer because it is two digit multiplication I have to do the next step also but there is a question how can I start the next step students look now I will uh, start multiplication by this 2 but this 2 position is in tens place that's why i have to start the next step from the tens place of this number okay of this 2272 so what i have to do i have to start from the tens place that's why I have to put a zero in the ones 
place. Okay. Now I am starting. By these two, I have to multiply the two hundred eighty-four. Okay. So first of all, I have to multiply the ones place by these two. Two fours will be what, students? Yes, two fours are eight, and I am not carrying anything. So, do, go for the next step. Two eights are. Now I will multiply it, this eight by two. Two eights will be what? Sixteen. Yes, very good. Two eights are sixteen. I will put here. I am writing here sixteen. So I will take this six here and one I will this one I will carry in my hand. You have to keep in mind that what you are carrying. Okay, students. Sometimes you forgot that I am carrying what. That's why I am showing it here as a rough work also. Okay. Now two twos are two twos will be what? Two twos will be four. And as I am carrying. One in my hand, I will add this one with this four. Then the answer will come five. Okay, so five I will write at last. Now, now we can it is this because I am showing you to make you understand. Now, what I have to do here? Can you remember at the last what we have to do? Yes, students. We have to do here the addition. We have to do here the addition. So let's start. Okay, zero plus two. What will be there? Two. Yes. And now go to the next part. Eight plus seven. Count eight plus seven by your finger line. What will be there? Yes, then eight plus seven. It will be fifteen. So fifteen. I will write five and I will carry one in my hand. So go to the next part. Six plus two, six plus two, eight. And as I am carrying one, so I will write here six plus eight, and one I am carrying, so it will be nine. Isn't it, students? Yes. And now I am not carrying anything, so I just do the addition here. Five plus two, what will be there? Yes, five plus two, six. Seven. So we got the answer. Seven thousand nine hundred fifty-two. Isn't it, students? So this answer I will write here. Seven thousand nine hundred fifty-two. Okay, students. Now at last we have to write the answer. Seven thousand nine hundred fifty-two. Have you understood, students? I hope all of you have understood. So, students, now I will show you one word problem from page sixty, and there are lots of word problem in your book. And today I will show you problem number seven. Okay, students. So all of you look at the board. Now I am reading out the question for you. Be attentive. Look at the question. There are fifteen rows of betel nut trees in Rani's garden, and there are twenty-four trees in each row. How many trees? Are there in the garden? So students, you know that in what problem there are some information part and asking part. So what we have to find out in that problem? In that problem, we have to find out trees, number of trees or number of rows. Which one? Yes, students, we have to find out the total number of Trees. Total number of trees. Okay. So they are telling you that 
there are how many rows? 15 rows. Okay. And in each row, this word each, each means what? I know all of you know the word each. Yes. Each means we have to think one. Okay. So one row. One row there are 24 trees. Now I am making you understand about row. What does row mean? You know students row means straight line. If you go to the village side you can uh, see there the farmer cultivate uh, the crops in a row. Sometimes they maintain the row. Whenever they cultivate the paddy in the field, they maintain a row. So, look, I am drawing a picture for you to make you understand that that is called row, like this way. Okay. There I am drawing some row here. I cannot draw 15 rows. Okay, like this. I am just showing you that like this way they can cultivate paddy. And every straight line is called row. So, like this way there are total how many rows in this problem they are telling you there are 15 rows okay and every row there it is one row it is another row it is another row it is another row so and every row one row how many trees are there they are telling you in the question 24 trees okay students so now I am showing you how can I solve the problem. And from the question, first of all, you have to think what we have to do here. Which method we have to apply here to find out the answer. Look students, they are telling you there are 15 rows of betel nut trees in Ranu's garden. The tot um, rows number is 15. And they are telling you that there are 24 trees in each row. So if we come to know that one row has 24 trees, then we can easily find out how many trees are there in 15 rows. And by which method we have to get the answer? By which method we have to apply here? Yes multiplication very good students we have to find the answer by doing the multiplication so i am writing here in one row there are there are in one row there are 24 trees this Okay, so easily we can find out that in 15 rows there are, we have to do the multiplication here, 24 multiplied by 15 trees. Okay, students, so now what we have to do? Now students, we have to show here the hair or ruffle. I am showing it here. Okay. 24 multiplied by 15. Okay. So, it is also two digit multiplication. So, we have to follow two steps. Okay. What we have to do? At first, we have to multiply 24 by this 5. Okay. Now, read out the 5 times table. 5 zeros are 0. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 15. 5 fours are 20. Okay. I am writing here 20. From this 20, I will take 0. And these two, I will carry in my hand. Okay, students. So, go to the next part. 5, 2, 0. 5, 2, 0 will be what? Again, read out the time table of 5. 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 2, 0, 5, 
five zero 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 five ones are five five two are ten. But as I am carrying two in my hand, now it will become eleven ten plus two. Then I will got twelve. So I will write the answer here twelve. My first part has done here. Now I will start the next step. Look, students. Again, I am telling you. This one's position is tens place. That's why we have to start the next step from the tens place. Okay. So one's place under this one's place, I will put zero. And now by this one, I have to multiply the twenty-four. Okay. At first, I have to multiply the one's position. That is four. One four zero will be four, and then the tens. I am not carrying anything. Then what? I am going to the next part. One two zero. One two zero will be what? Two. Yes. Now what I have to do? I tell you before. We have to do here the addition. So do the addition. Zero plus zero. What will be there? Zero. And four plus two. What will be there here, students? Four, five, six, and go to the next part. Two plus one. What will be there? Two plus one. It will be three. Okay. So I'm got the answer. Three hundred sixty. Three hundred sixty. Okay. So I'm writing the answer here. Three hundred sixty. Please. So, have you understood, students? Now, students, I am using this. So, at last, we have to write the answer. And we got the answer that what? That there are three hundred sixty trees in the garden. Okay, students. So write down this. Again, I will make you understand about problem number seven. Look, students, they are telling you there are fifteen rows of betel nut trees in Ranu's garden, and there are twenty-four trees in each row. How many trees are there in the garden? So, students, you know they have given you. That one row there are twenty four trees. So we have to find out more than one row. That is fifteen rows. How many trees are there? We have to find out. And for that, what we have to do? We have to do here the multiplication. Okay, to find out the answer, the total number of trees. That's why I have written here in one row there are twenty four trees. In Fifteen rows. There are. We have to show here the multiplication, and for that we have to show the rough or or here to find out the total number of trees. And after doing the multiplication, we got the answer that there are three hundred sixty trees in the garden. So students, at last, I have written the answer that is there are. Three hundred sixty trees in the garden. So, students, I hope that all of you have understood this two problem. Okay. Now, time for diary writing. Everybody, take out your diary and write down the diary. I am writing here. Today, our S W number. Is twenty one, and I am writing. Everybody follow the board. Do from page fifty nine. Exercise one, problem number six in do, and do from page sixty. What? Problem eight. 
Okay, what problem now? 8. You will do as your homework. Okay, students, write down this in your diary. All of you. Okay. Now, students, being a math teacher, I strongly believe that if you practice maths every day, then you can get good marks in math subject. So keep on practicing. No more today. See you in next class. Bye-bye and take care.